This is the fourth in my series of what do I travel with? This is my backdrop bag. It's a five and a, where am I? Five, ten? Five and ten inches ski bag or snowboard bag, which I've been using these for ages. I have another one that's longer for bigger backdrops, but this is pretty safe for me to fly around the planet with because most airlines understand what a ski bag is. I'm going to stick that on the table. You know, if you want an airline to be able to just go, oh, okay, they get confused by things they don't know. So if I take a snowboard bag, I just say it's a snowboard bag. And if they ask, I show them and it has a backdrop in it. So I actually also carry my lights in here. So I'm just going to kind of unpack this. This is my 70 centimeter deep dish Ellen Chrome Rotolux modifier with, um, and I'll, sh I'll make another video that shows the modifiers separately. Then I have the same in 100 inch version to Ellen Chrome light uh, modifiers. Then I have my jelly roll, which looks terrible, but it is a roll with a bunch of gels in it. In there, which I use for various effects. So we have different gel sheets cut in various shapes and sizes, and it uh, just gives me a little bit of variety and options when I'm traveling. In addition to the pre-cut gels that I used, that I showed you in the kit bag video. Then I have this beaten up old thing. It's I call it the stick which I mount my light on and I get my assistants or volunteers to hold. This one's super beaten up, but this is just the central column of a regular light stand with the legs taken off. And then we put tennis racket tape around the grip and someone can hold it super nicely, very useful. Then I have one each of the Fotec soft lighters, which I'll show you in another video. It's large, medium, small. I also bring, this is a C-stand arm with a grip head attached, which comes off if you want. Now, this is super great because I would love to travel with a C-stand, but they're really, really heavy. So I take the arm with the grip head and I can attach that to a regular stand and still be able to mount my backdrops with that Cardellini clamp that I showed in my kit bag video. So it's really essential for me to travel with this. It's quite heavy, but it's really very important for me to have. Then I have my two Oliphant backdrops. They're about four and a half feet wide. I have two of them. One is cream, one is bluish gray. And um, if you go on my Instagram, you'll see me having used those. So I mount them with that C-stand arm on a stand and the Cardellini like this in the middle, and it holds it up really nicely. That's everything that's in here and in this top pocket I usually keep a bag which has a bunch of binder clips in it which I use to clip onto my modifier so that if there's wind the front diffusion panel doesn't fly away so that's my traveling backdrop bag that's the fourth of four videos that show kind of the mania which is going traveling with Felix Kunz and um, this gives me everything I need pretty much, apart from I'll get uh, backdrop stands locally when I arrive, um, to do shoots anywhere around the planet. Thanks so much for watching. Please do subscribe. It does help me make more of these videos. I like kind of breaking down my process and showing other photographers how I'm doing things. Feel free to comment. I love hearing what you guys think, any questions you have or anything I could answer and explain more. If you go out and use some of these tips, please do let me know. I love hearing that kind of thing. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.